All right, we've taken a look at adding things, we've taken a look at finding things. That was easy. Now let's think about removing things. How are we going to remove things from the tree? In our heaps that we talked about, remember, we just take away the top thing and swap it. But we can't do that. This is a, this is a, a binary tree. And in a tree, what we want to do is we want to go look for things. So we know that smaller things are on the left and bigger things are on the right. And so in our tree, what we do is we go specifically find something and say, let's remove that. And so remember that we have um, pointers for our objects. So if we consider, for example, the 15, then we have left, Let's start actually with the 20 and right. The right node has left and right and points to the 15. And the left node has left, right, and points to the 12. OK? So if we want to remove something from the tree, let's say we want to remove the 12. How do we remove the 12? If we want to remove the 12, all we've got to do is set this 15's left pointer to null. That will break this link here between the 15 and the 12. And then at the end of the method, the 12 will get garbage collected and go away, right? So just as we saw with a linked list, we basically set that to null. This node will go away and get garbage collected. Easy. So if we're removing a leaf node, which is what the 12 is, because it's a node at the end of the tree, we just set the parent's pointer to null. Easy? Okay. It's pretty. Everybody happy about that? Come back, little 12. We need you. All right. What about if I want to remove the 15? How do I remove the 15? The 15 only has one child. It has the 12. So if we took away the 15, where would the 12 end up? It would be, well, it, would, it should end up, it should not end up in the ether. <laughs> it should end up as 20's right child, yeah? No, it shouldn't. <laughs> I guess my tree's wrong, that should be a 10. It should end up as 10's right child. You guys didn't notice that my tree was completely wrong the whole time. So all, right. all we have to do is set the right child from its parent to point to the node that we want to delete. That breaks this link here. And then when the method ends, this 15 will get garbage collected away. Yeah? Does it matter if we've got one child? And I'll see if I can get this correct. Does it matter if we have one child like this or if we have one child like this? It doesn't matter, right? So the, the 18 is still bigger than the 10. And so we would still, when we deleted the 15, we would still make the 18 to be the 10's right child. The 12 is still bigger than the 10. So when we delete the 15, we would still make the 12 tens right child. And notice as well that it doesn't matter if the 12 and the 18 have children, right? So B, if we're deleting a node with one child, set the parents pointer to the child. And so all you have to make sure is you set the parents the same pointer. So if the 
15 is the parent's right child. You set the right pointer of the parent to its child. All right, what about if we want to delete 10? Let's delete the 10 because that caused me trouble. Here's left, here's 10, here's right. So the left child of the 10 is the six. That has children. And the right child of the 10 is the 15. And that has one child. Okay. So what are we going to do? We've got the 10, the 6, and the 15. How are we going to delete that? So we can't, right? We can't put the 6 up here because the 6 has got some children that we need to take care of. We can't just put the 15 up in the place of the 10 because the 15's got some children, so what do we do with the other children here? We could just you know, massacre the whole family, but that doesn't seem very fair. So this is where we have to think like computer scientists. We've got a hard problem we don't know how to solve. So let's change the problem. Let's solve a problem that we know how to solve. What do we know how to solve? We know how to remove leaf nodes. That's easy. We know how to remove leaf nodes. So instead of trying to remove a node that we don't know how to remove, because that's too hard, let's remove something that we do know how to remove and put it in its place. So here's our tree. So which leaf nodes could we put in place? And I'll give you another choice, just so you've got four choices. Let's say here's our 20 back again. So if we want to delete the 10, we're going to delete a leaf node and pretend that it's the 10. In fact, what we're going to do is swap the 10 with one of the leaf nodes and then delete the leaf node. We know how to do that. So which leaf node do we use? We can use either the 8 or the 12. Let's go back to our drawing of a tree that we talked about the other day. Here's a little drawing of a tree. Remember okay. that for every node, there are two really important nodes. So for example, for our root, there's a really important node, which is if we go to the left and then go all the way to the right, that node is called our in order successor. Yeah? Because if we label the leaves in order, as we would visit them in order, so if we labeled them as, as we would visit them if we went left, root, right. So if we do this that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 14, 15, yeah? So this node right here is the node that we visit immediately before we visit the root node. It's the in-order successor. And the in-order successor is the largest thing smaller than the node, the node that it's the successor of. Similarly, similarly, if we go to the right and then go all the way to the left, we have the in order predecessor. Something like that, approximately. And that's the smallest thing larger than the node. And the in-order successor and in-order predecessor are true for every node. Okay? So if we take this node right here, the largest thing smaller than that is node 1. The smallest thing larger than it is node 3, because that's how we would visit it in order. If we take node 4, the 
Largest thing smaller than it is node 3. The smallest thing larger than it is node 5, because that's how we visit in order. It's true for every node on the tree. So we have these two important nodes, the in-order successor and the in-order predecessor. And so the third rule for deleting things is if we're going to delete something with two children, what we're going to do is swap that with its in-order successor or in-order predecessor. It doesn't matter which one. And delete that. Okay. And by definition, the in-order successor and in-order predecessor are leaf nodes. Because if they, if they weren't leaf nodes, there would be something bigger than them that we could delete. 